What's going on? This big dog barking, the country boy from Memphis, Tennessee. And I want to uh, talk to my single mothers right fast. Now, I've always said there's good single mothers and there's bad single mothers. I want to talk to the bad ones. And the reason I call y'all bad single mothers is because you had an opportunity to get a nice guy. A safe guy. Somebody that really wanted to build with you and grow old with you. You know what I'm saying? Somebody really cared about you. Really cared about your well-being. Really wants you to be safe. But he was too perfect. He was too nice. Too safe. Too good. Law-abiding. Mr. Perfect. And you ain't want that. Nah, you wanted guys like me. You wanted guys that was running the streets. You wanted the game bangers. You wanted the D boys. You wanted the elf boys. You wanted the pretty boys. You wanted the ones that was always hustling on the corners. You wanted the ones that all the other women wanted. Them were the ones you wanted. And you end up getting one. You end up getting one and you end up liking the guy and you end up falling head over heels for him. And anything that man told you, you jumped. You jumped whenever he told you to jump without a problem, no hesitation whatsoever. And then you end up getting knocked up. You end up getting pregnant. Now you finna get ready to create a life with this man and he really don't want nothing to do with you. You was a one night stand that lasted too long. You was a, a little jump off that lasted too long. You was something he really didn't want to be with to end up being with and got pregnant. And now you're sitting up here, don't know what to do. You kind of telling this man what you want to do and the best he could tell you is he go $400. You know what to do with it. I ain't trying to be no daddy right now. And if you have it, I ain't gonna be in that child life. You, these are the conversations that you hear coming out these dude mouth that you really want. The one that you said was the better option instead of the nice guy. They telling you to get rid of the baby. One way or another. They ain't trying to be no daddy. And you go against that. You say, I'm gonna have this baby because I want to be a mother. And you're like, ah, oh, you're going to be a mother by yourself. Then you go through, you go to the living room, and you sit on that table, and you push, and you push, and you push, and you have a nice baby boy, a nice baby girl come out. And you love her. You're attached to her. Them, that bond that you've been having for all them months is finally here. You get to see this bundle of joy. And guess what? The dude that you wanted... The dude that got you pregnant is nowhere to be found. You're jaded, you're hurt. So now you go along life and you trying to raise your son, you trying to raise your daughter the best way you can by yourself. No help from their dad. Cause he don't wanna be there no way. He don't wanna be there no way. Then somewhere out the blue, some guy he interested in you like your smile, like your face, like your body. And y'all get to rapping, y'all get to vibing. And you tell him you got a little child. He ain't bothered about it. He's like, that's cool, whatever. I want to rock with you. And y'all get to rocking with each other. Y'all get to rocking out. Y'all get to vibing. Y'all get to connecting. And he's everything that a woman want and a dude but he's still too nice. And somehow, some way, the man that's gonna treat you right, the man that's gonna take you to the next level in your life, you still don't want him. He's still too nice. He won't call you out your name. He won't mess off on you. He won't mess up the money. He's perfect. And you're not used to perfection. 
You're not used to nice. So guess what you do? You come up with some elaborate thought that this man going to do something wrong. You just waiting for him to do something wrong and it can be the smallest thing and you jump on it and you turn it into this real big ginormous thing and then now you beefing with him you arguing with him you want him out your face and now he want to do will take it to a better place and then you go from him to another d boy another f boy another game banger another scammer you get pregnant again. And the cycle keeps going and repeating itself over and over and over again. So my question to all you bad baby, bad baby mamas. When you gonna stop? When are you going to actually pick somebody that's gonna treat you right? When you gonna actually pick somebody that's gonna do right by you? that want to have a family with you, that want to see you become a beautiful, strong woman, that's willing to do whatever, whenever for you, without a question, without a shadow of a doubt. When y'all going to stop and start choosing the right guys? Or you keep blaming the bad guy for your bad decision because you knew that was a bad guy. And yet he gave you what you wanted, that excitement. And now you got three kids by three different dudes. Yup. And Mr. Nice is slowly but surely fading away. Every time you have another baby by another scammer, another dope boy, another hustler. I feel sorry for you, but then again, I don't. It is what it is. Live and you learn. I'll holler at y'all later.